We've had the craziest January transfer window. It was perfect. Perfect. We were forced to sell our main man, Ivan Tony, to Man United, but we were able to bring in a replacement like Anthony Martial. Great. Well... Who, by the way, has had a ridiculous start to his Nottingham Forest career. I mean, take a look. The run is there. Can he get his first goal? Fake shot inside. Oh, he's gone for it. Oh, that's Anthony Martial. Looking for Anthony Martial. Could it be the hero? He's confident. And of course, he's going for it. He is a striker. When he's in front of goal, he's going to go for it. Anthony Martial. Welcome to Nottingham. And don't forget, amidst all of this, we also legit signed the next Leo Messi. All this basically means is that we now have the firepower to get top four in the Premier League. And we're going to do everything to make it happen. But don't forget, there's a chance we could win the Europa League as well. We take on Atletico Madrid first. This is going to be such a challenge and a big test for us that can we compete against some of the top sides, some of the usual Champions League teams. And call me crazy for a game like this, I'm still going to keep giving Sam Arnold opportunities. I don't know what's up with him, but he always seems to deliver. Bro, imagine if we can win the Europa League this season. I'm already dreaming. Atletico Madrid is definitely the toughest team left in the competition. Oh, we start things off with a free kick and a really nice position for James Ward-Prowse to do something. Can he call this in? Okay, we need to put decent power because the distance is there. It's off the player there. That was bad. And no, we give away a penalty to Atletico Madrid. It's Griezmann who takes it, but Griezmann misses yet another crucial penalty. A few moments later. What's our defense doing? We've given him another penalty. No way he misses Bruh. this. And he's missed two back-to-back -back pens. And after all those missed chances for Atletico, guess who's got the chance to give us the lead? It's Sam Arnold. No. Atletico are looking extremely dangerous. Nope. Mount's header saved by Dean Hendo. Oh my God. We've got a penalty in this game to try and take the lead. Of course, I'm taking it with James Ward-Prowse, who's got a fantastic record. And he scored yet again. He's taken three penalties for us. He scored every single one of them. Griezmann, you better be taking lessons. And that's that. We take away a 1-0 win at home. We can do the job in the second leg, I feel. This is brilliant. It's going to be so tough just balancing the Premier League and the Europa League because both are brilliant opportunities to get to the Champions League. Of course, now I'm favoring the Europa League more because we've shown we can beat a team like Atletico. I'd love to know from you guys, would you prefer top four in the Premier League or winning the Europa League and getting into the Champions League that way? Now, we're going to have to juggle. The positive thing is we do have a squad that should be able to manage. Next up, we've got West Ham. Last season, we made the decision to sacrifice the Premier League for the FA Cup. I don't want to be doing that this season. I want to get that top four. Let's see if we've got the team that can help us do it. Elanga goes down. No pen. Looking for Ward-Prowse. Anthony Martial. And it's a solid finish from the Frenchman who just can't stop scoring. No, they've got a golden chance and a bicycle kick. Whoa, we're lucky. Almada. Next Leo Messi going for it. Ooh. Guys, we're literally the masters of the 1-0 win. Good goal from Martial, and we take the three points. I think I'm going to have Brennan Johnson back into the team for this game at the Wanda, because Sam Arnold, he does well, but sometimes in front of goal, I think he gets a bit nervous, as we saw in the last game against Atleti, so Brennan still is more professional. So let's do this. Atletico second leg. I want to knock them out. Today's episode is literally going to be the finale of season two. We're going to find out if we can win the Europa League, whether we're getting champions, League for next season, so make sure you subscribe. Elanga, finesse shot from distance. Oh, Anthony Elanga, are you kidding me? That is a potential goal of the season contender, and this man is just on the gritty on Diego Simeone's Atletico. Bro, how did this even happen? Elanga controls it well, takes a touch forward, finesse shot, bang. That's Jan all black. He's done it too. Player is magic top. Bro, there is something about this Nottingham Forest team, man. Something that just clicks. And this season, we're going for that Europa League. Lovely ball for Elanga. As I see Martial making a run, it's brilliant. And it's 2-0. Atletico Madrid in the first 10 minutes of this game have been crushed. I guess there's a reason why they're in the Europa League because they just cannot compete. Guys, anyone else think Anthony Martial has actually improved the team? Because, bro, every time I play him, every time I deliver the ball to him in the box, it's like he's just that, that guy. guy. You know, like he is that guy. Ivan Tony was as well, but not at this level. But right now, Dean Henderson forced to make a save like that. Tammy Abraham looks just shocked. No, Griezmann, such a lucky chance, but he's still good in score because Dean Henderson is not going to let anything past him. Oh, this is where I love Almada to play 
in the middle of the park, just making those runs. They're going to get past players. Just look at the dribbling on him. It is actually surreal. Almada with the chance, bro. He's so satisfying to use even when he doesn't score. Credit to Ward Prowse as well. Like, honestly, against a team like Atletico, he's out here controlling that midfield. Almada, so clever, so clever. Ward Prowse back for Almada. All that space for Brennan Johnson. He puts it in. Elanga's not good in the air, but we still have it and the pressure is still on. Ward Prowse, Phillips, Almada now. What can he do? Looking with that left foot. Still gets another chance. Goes for it. It falls for Martial. Can he keep it in? Just about can. Ah, oh, the attack's gone. But we are dominating Atletico. This is bad. Mason Mount with a chance. Inside for Tammy Abram. Off the bar. Atletico have no luck. But they do. Because Verd scores the rebound. Hang on. They've just got one goal back, boys. We still have a two-goal advantage. Brennan does really well to look for Anthony Martial. And we break through. Martial. You can't stop him. You literally can't stop him. That's it. This tie is over. Atletico Madrid have been knocked out of the Europa League. And that goal from Martial was enough to see this one through. Atletico scored a couple of goals, but it was inconsequential. We go through to the next round. Yo, I'm so excited to find out who we're facing. It could be Frankfurt, it could be Benfica, or it could be Real Betis. Yo, the Europa League definitely looks winnable. We're going to now find out who we're up against in the semifinals, and it's Benfica. Okay, okay, I'm ready ready for this. And now we're gonna have serious problems for squad depth and everything. Everton on a Sunday, Wednesday Chelsea, Arsenal on a Saturday. How do we cope with this? And also, a Europa League semi-finals. Bro, it's gonna be so tough. And I think soon we'll have to make the decision to prioritize one competition over the other. And that's scary. The good thing is the gap from the Arsenal game until the Benfica game is enough for players to be fit. So all we need to do is manage these three games somehow and get the job done. By the way, just look at Anthony Martial's stats for us. Like, I, I didn't in my wildest of dreams imagine him to be this good. Eight goals in 13 games. We're gonna have to rotate the squad in these next three games. So we've got Vega, Bianco, and Arnold all playing. We need to do it to keep everyone fit. Sam Arnold's got the chance to be the hero. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Martial. And you'd bet your house on him scoring. And of course he's gonna convert. You give him a chance. 1v1. Anthony Martial does not disappoint. He's reviving his career at Nottingham. Bro, I just feel like I can't score from corners ever. I don't know why. Like, I just don't know. Almada might do something. Yeah, he almost scored though. Turam looking inside and oh my god, what a goal from Conor Gallagher. Fair play, Ever didn't get that equalizer. No, no, you, you can't be doing this. 88th minute free kick. James Ward-Prowse. It doesn't get any bigger than this. If we can score this, we're getting three points here. This could be iconic. I don't think I've put enough power. Ward Prowse goes for it. Oh, he's... No, keeper saved. And the game ends in a one all draw. I thought that was going to be it. We had the chance, but I didn't take it. We're somehow still keeping our fourth spot in the Premier League. But as we make progress, I'm slowly realizing at some point we'll have to make a choice. Whether it's the Premier League or the Europa League we care more about. I reckon these next couple of games against Chelsea and Arsenal will be huge to make that decision. Oh, looks like we've got a chance now. Anthony Alanga to break through and he's done so brilliantly tough angles. Yes. Oh, what a save. Almada driving it forward. I need to see that run. Martial has made the run. What a ball from Almada. Anthony Martial against Chelsea and he's slotted home. This guy is as clinical as a finisher gets. You give him half a chance, he will score. And when you've got a creator like Almada behind him, makes life easy. Chelsea with an incredible chance towards the end of this game. We need to stop it. Take him out, no matter the cost. Sometimes you got to do that. And yes, it's job done. I ask myself whether we'll have to make the decision decision. Europa League or Premier League? I think now I can say, why not both? I like this now. The gap between us and Aston Villa is five points. So we're looking really good for top four. Actually, there's a chance we could maybe push for like top three. But right now, getting that fourth spot is all we need in the Prem. Obviously, this one against Arsenal is not going to be easy. Every time we get a free kick, you know who I think about. It's Jesse Lingard and his godlike free kick. Just take a look at that one. Jesse Lingard outside the boot. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing in this oh my god oh my god oh my god but you know what you just never know ward prowse might just be able to do a banger we just you just never know you just never know no no he almost did it that was off the crossbar he almost did it Martial might go for Easy. goal himself no guys james ward prowse almost pulled it off 
Take a look at the technique. Take a look at the way the ball swung in. No, that was so close. Off the post. It was spinning in, but then it spun out. You can't write this. And we get a penalty, and you know who's taking it. The man with a perfect record. It's James Ward-Prowse. Hasn't missed a single penalty for us. And that streak continues. No, no, no. Arsenal are carving us open. They've got a chance. No. Nope. And Oh, what a save. I was ready to concede. Why is Tommy Arsu playing striker for Arsenal? I just don't get it. I mean, well... Yeah, it's a weird one. Easy way to save the chance. Bro, look at that. Tomiyasu's making runs in behind. I don't get it. It's just making life a hell of a lot easier for us. And there you go. It's that Ward Prowse penalty that gets us the dub. I'm so glad we came through during that tough period in the Premier League because now I don't think we need to worry about the top four position. I think we should still have it in the bag. The plan would be, you know, Benfica, we go with our strongest team and we maybe rest players against Aston Villa because I think we'll need to. And then we can focus on beating Benfica again and for the rest of the Premier League games we can use our strongest team no problem we should get top four regardless but now we do everything to make it to the Europa League final I can't lie that Benfica team looks good like Enzo Fernandez, Jao Mario, Neres, Musa there's a reason why they're here but our team's pretty good too as well can't deny that let's do this all right the game is kicked off and we need to put in a good showing in the first leg I want to get to that final oh Elanga I don't know how he's pulled that off but yeah he goes on a bit of a mazy dribble finding almada the next leo messi Denied. oh but he didn't have the finish of leo messi there almada again going on the run it's a lovely release out wide for brennan johnson who's bringing Bruh. it inside oh come on oh almada could be through and we know he's got the pace a good touch almada can he score yes he can big game player thiago almada by the way in real life almada has just received a surprise call up for the world cup and you can see why the quality he has unreal one nil up in this europa league semis no 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 benfica completely threw on goal it's a cheeky chip and there's no stopping that i had to charge with dean henderson because normal Normally that works, but not this time. Benfica back in it. No, 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 no. We can't let them score another one. What's happening here? Oh, come on. This Musa guy has destroyed us. Benfica at home make it 2-1. Almada looking for Elanga. I see you, Martial, in the box. Can he win nope. the header? Second chance, but keeper saves miraculously. Taking the corner shot because that's the only thing that works for me in this game. Elanga. Doing well. Finding Almada. Turning and shooting. How is that not gone in? No, they've got another chance to score. Big save from Dean Henderson. We can't afford to be 2-0 down for the second leg. But they could actually make that happen. We survive. And we've taken an L in the first leg of the semi-finals. 2-1 to Benfica. There's a lot to do in that return leg. Guys, call me crazy, but I'm going to sacrifice this game against Villa. The focus now, at least at this point, is the Europa League semi-finals. I'm literally going to rest my entire first team. We'll have Jesse Lingard playing. Alex Scott can get a chance. Or Jada. Sam Arnold. We're going to keep him away from this game because I want to start him in the semi-finals. This Draga guy could be playing Bianco. And we'll have Panzo. Olive Richards. Dean Hendo can still play. But there you go. We're literally sacrificing this game against Villa. I know we're going to lose. Whoa. We actually managed to win. We'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. The reserves have done their job. It looks like finally we have a team that can do the job in both competitions. And look at that. We've leapfrogged Liverpool only temporarily into third. But looks like top four has been secured. Everything now rests on this second leg against Benfica. I'm making the crucial decision. Sam Arnold is going to be starting this semi-finals. Brendan Johnson didn't really impress me. But of course, we'll keep him on the bench just in case. Bro, we're legit getting a solid experience of how Champions League football could be, man. And we need to be prepared. Gotta play this smart. We know 90 minutes. We have that much time. We need to overturn it one goal deficit. I think we'll get it done. Here we go. Sam Arnold looking really nice. Good pass for Almada. Now can we get the Elanga does, but not enough. We still have the ball. Alex Moreno, lovely ball cleared away. We're creating chances, which is the positive thing. Sam Arnold really loves coming in the midfield and playing those passes. We now have a chance. Almada. Nope. How is that finesse shot not going in? We're taking it short for Almada to try and do something about it. It's cleverly done. Can look for a ball in. It's a chance. How did Niakate not win the header? No, 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 no. It could be all over. Our Europa League dream could be all over. No. 
Benfica score. Now, truly, the backs are against the wall, boys. We're a goal down. Oh, this, this is not good. We need to score two goals just to bring it on level terms. If we can get an early goal quickly... That could be genuinely what we need. But look at how they're defending now. Benfica, no. They've done most of the job here. I think the occasion is getting a bit too big for Sam Arnold. We're going to bring Brennan Johnson back into the fold. Can't take any risks now, man. It's 45 minutes and we need two goals. Guys, Benfica have parked the bus and I just can't seem to do anything. Martial is broken through. What a ball for Almada. And finally, we get the breakthrough. It's Almada who gets us a goal back. We've now got 20 minutes to save something here. The quality there from Anthony Martial's back heel. Bro, so real. Even Benfica's boss couldn't handle that. This could be one of the last attacks of the game for us. And Martial is broken through. Anthony Martial, of course, it's him. In the 88th minute, we have gotten the equalizer. And as things stand, we're taking this game to extra time. Now, why have we given them a free kick in the 90th minute? Please just clear the ball away. We do. And, oh my god, the chance is still on. Finally, the game is done. This game is going to extra time. Okay, this is bad. This Thank is you. bad. This is bad. Good save, Dean Henderson. We concede in extra time. It's going to be a nightmare to get back into it. No, no, no. Not Musa. Don't give him that much space. Fluffed it. Thankfully, he fluffed it. Almada again. Just showing what he's all about. Messi-esque from him. Looks for the ball for Martial. Nope. The header. Saved by the keeper. Oh, that's lovely from Almada. Just shimming past challenges. Looking for Ward Brown, striking it, another save. We tried everything in extra time to win, but this game was destined to go to penalties. Penalties to decide whether we make it to a Europa League final or not, and the first one's being taken by Almada. Oh, how did that go in? Keeper dived as well. We take that, we take that. Second one, Ciao Mario. He scores. Anthony Martial, we need a convincing penalty from him. No. How does our striker end up missing? David Neres to take the next one. Dean Henderson saves. Come on, Ward Prowse. Keep that perfect record going. Keep that perfect record going. That was close, but he did it. Enzo Fernandez, where are you going to go? I'm going to stay down oh, the middle. And it's worked. It's worked. Why is the game teaching me how to take penalties, man? Come on, I know how to do it. Nia Carte, I'm just going, going to go for a power pen from him. Easy. No mistakes. There you go. If Dean Henderson saves this, we're going to be in the Europa League final. Oh, they've scored. Alex Moreno is our left back again. No mistakes. Power pen. Bang. We've done it. It's done. Alex Moreno scored the winning penalty and we're going to a Europa League final. We won the FA Cup last season and now we're on the verge of winning our second trophy, the Europa League. We just need to beat Real Betis. We do still have three Premier League games to smash through, so let's go through them. And honestly, since top four looks in the bag, we're just going to sim through them. Let's just hope no injuries happen. First one against Newcastle. We get a two-all draw, but nobody got injured and that's Key. Second game against Fulham. This should be a dub. First team's fully fit. And there you go. Elanga and Martial end up scoring. And since we have the Europa League final like a couple of days after the game against Brighton, the finale of the Premier League, I am just going to rest every single player. Even the goalkeeper is going to be our academy keeper. Final Premier League game of the season. We should secure your top four regardless. It's a draw. And I think that should still be enough. Ooh, we've got some urgent news to deal with the academy because one of the players, Liam Alexander, Alexander thinks he's good enough for the first team and I kind of agree with him 67 rated we'll promote him to the senior team a couple of really nice players in the academy coming through too Liam Alexander well next season he'll be getting his debut don't forget him but here's the final Premier League table we end up with the same points as Spurs and Liverpool if we would have won our last game we would have finished second in the Premier League but it doesn't matter we qualify for the Champions League next season guaranteed four points clear of Man United as well tremendous Kevin De Bruyne actually ended up winning the golden boot. Fair enough. Goalkeeper of the tournament. I'll keep against it. Dean Henderson. Let's go. Team of the tournament. We have one player in there in Neko Williams. But that's it. That's a surprise. And Hugman Son wins player of the Premier League. The stats are kind of low because we didn't have Ivan Tony. Stats included here. Yeah, he's left the club. But Martial's had an incredible second half of the season. Elanga's done his job. Almada's been a revelation. What a season from everyone involved. And it's now time to top it with that Europa League trophy. I'm not making any changes. We're just going to go with our strongest 11. Let's do this. I think for sure this is the biggest game of our Nottingham career. We got to do everything to win this. Wow, Calvin Phillips is ready for this final. Already a chance. Looking for Martial. Nope. Oh, he's managed to... Ah, oh, just... 
The ball just didn't get to him properly. No, 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 no. Not an early goal. Dean Henderson saved it. Rebound. Not this way. Within seven minutes, we end up conceding. Ah. Oh. And now it's a nightmare. In a final, when you concede early on, it just, uh, it just sets the tone and it gets tough. Denied. What are we doing? Dean Henderson has saved us again. No, 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 no. We're two nil down. Two nil down to Real Betis after 20 minutes. It's the worst possible start. The pressure has got to us. Brennan Johnson. That's a smart way to do it. Looking for Anthony Martial here. She's, oh, Brennan Johnson inside. This is his moment. Finally, Brennan Johnson scores. And it's in the game. We needed something. 2-1. We're back in this. Oh, it's a gift for Anthony Martial, who's completely broken through. Bro. Martial, he went for the power shot. No, that would have been a simple goal. No, 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 no. We can't give them another goal. That deflection could have taken it anywhere. Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Elanga, clear it away. Good stuff. Half time. I'm glad Brennan Johnson got us away back in this game. Smart play to find Ward Prowse. Anthony Alanga, they've been completely opened up. And Anthony Alanga gets the equalizer. Nottingham Forest. Nah, 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 dude. You can't do it really in a Europa League final. Anthony Alanga is making a mockery of this sport. Nico Williams doing everything to chase back. And oh, that was a really bad challenge. A naughty one. Scared in a booking. But you got to do that to slow the game down sometimes. Almada. Inside for Martial, finding Elanga. How has that worked? But Elanga couldn't score this time. We still have it. Ward Prowse. No, he's put it wide. So close to taking the lead. This might be literally the last attack of this game. As Almada drives it forward. There goes the next Messi. Does he have the stamina to go through? I think he just might. Crossing it for Martial. And the header is in. Anthony Martial in the 90th minute. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Martial scores. And looks like we are going to win the Europa League final. Unbelievable scenes. Bro, the dribble from Almada against the tired legs of the Real Betis defense. Martial still making that run. And the finish. An iconic goal in this Nottingham series. Literally, that was the last kick or the last header of the game, I should say. We've just won the Europa League. In two seasons, we've had Nottingham win the FA Cup and now this one, the Europa League. But we're not done yet. We've still got the Premier League and the Champions League to win. I'll see you guys soon for season three.